Hello and good morning. Thanks for joining us yet again here on Calkine TV. My name's Sage. Guess what we've got for you? Top ASX buzzing stocks for the day. Today we'll look at the five ASX listed stocks in the news because of their latest announcements. Beginning with Australian gold mining company, the Northern Star Resources today announced that it has appointed Marnie Finlayson as an independent non-executive director with effective date being 1st October 2022. Ms Finlayson is a senior executive at Rio Tinto and holds the position of managing director, Battery Minerals. A space that's definitely in the spotlight with the uptake of EVs increasing. In commenting on her appointment to the Northern Star Board of Directors, Ms Finlayson said that she is excited about joining Northern Star at an important time in the company's growth trajectory and looks forward to working with the board and the broader team to further enhance Northern Star's reputation as a responsible, outcomes-focused gold producer. Today, Northern Star's shares traded at Australian $7.80, being up by 0.91%. On to the next. Australian developers are operators of private toll roads and this company, Atlas Arteria, needs no introduction. They announced today that it has entered into an agreement to acquire a 66.67% majority interest in the Chicago Skyway. The acquisition establishes a partnership with Ontario Teachers Pension Plan, which is holding its 33.33% interest in Chicago Skyway. The acquisition of the 66.67% majority interest represents an equity value of US $2.01 billion and is subject to receipt of regulatory approvals including consent of the City of Chicago. RBC Capital Markets is acting as lead financial advisor and UBS Securities Australia is acting as a financial advisor to Atlas Arteria for the acquisition. And earlier today, the company had requested that its share be placed in a trading halt. Hope this news is of good use to you. If you haven't grabbed your pen, don't worry, it'll be up on Calkine Media's YouTube channel later on. I'll continue on with the next now. Australian biotechnology company Imugene today announced a placement of 80 million Australian dollars. Under the terms of the placement, the company proposes to issue a total of 400 million new shares to placement subscribers at a price of 20 cents per share. The company will have a pro forma cash position of uh, 175 million Australian dollars on completion of the placement, which is being subscribed by two leading institutional investors with significant healthcare and biotechnology expertise. And the company said that the funds raised under the placement, in addition to the company's existing cash position, will provide an extended runway for Imogene's deep pipeline of clinical programs. And shares issued under the placement. Uh, represent a modest 6.8% of existing ordinary shares. So today, Imogene's shares traded at 22 cents. It's down by 2.22%. Let's take a look at the next big news. Investment management company Challenger today provided an update on the progress of its joint venture partnership with Apollo, announcing the appointments of the chairman and the chief executive officer. Big news coming in there. According to the ASX release, David Moffat will be appointed chair of the joint venture. Moffat's currently chairman of Ventia Services Group and a senior advisor to Apollo. Now on to the CEO, Chris Plater will be appointed CEO of the joint venture, with effective date being 15th September. And Plater has had several key leadership roles since joining Challenger back in 2003. Plenty of experience there, including Deputy CEO and Chief Executive and Chief Investment Officer of the Life Business. Today, Challenger's shares traded at 6 Australian dollars 58 cents, being up by 1.08%. Last but not least, and listen, there's plenty of announcements on the ASX daily, probably more than any one person could read themselves. And that's why we've selected top five here for you, but there's plenty more on this, so don't hesitate to have a look yourself on ASX.com. And on with the last one, Australian biopharmaceutical company Neurin Pharmaceuticals today reported that the US Food and Drug Administration has accepted for review the new drug application of Trophinotide for the treatment of Rett syndrome that was submitted by Neuron's US partner Arcadia Pharmaceuticals. The FDA has granted a priority review and assigned a prescription drug user fee act action date of 12th March 2023. 
The FDA has also informed Arcadia that at this time they're not planning to hold an advisory committee meeting if the new drug application is approved by the FDA. Neuron expects to earn revenue over 2022 and 2023 for Rett syndrome in the US alone of close to 118 million Australian dollars with double digit percentage royalties on net sales. And today Neuron's shares traded at 6 Australian dollars 77 cents being up by 8.67%. Thank you so much for your company. I do appreciate it. Let us know how your trading is going in the comments below. But that's all for this edition of the top ASX buzzing stocks of the day. Hope the day in trading goes well. Another episode will be coming your way. Until then, keep it locked on Calkine TV. Sage signing off.